my dear students in this video now we are going to learn about the preparation and the properties of the carbazole in carbazole we have the three rings one is the pyrrole ring and other two are benzene rings so here pyrrole is flanked by the two benzene rings so such compound is known as here carbazole first of all we discuss about the grave ulmen synthesis of the carbazole in grave ulmen synthesis the starting substance is diphenyl amine so this is diphenyl amine and here at ortho position we are having the amine group so this is the starting substance so now we can call it as the ortho amino diphenyl amine ortho amino diphenyl amine is the starting substance here this amine is converted into the diazo group by treating with the nitrous acid nitrous acid is obtained by mixing sodium nitrate with dilute hcl at a lower temperature and we know that this reaction is known as the <coughs> diazotization so due to diazotization this nh group is converted into the diazonium ion so here we get the diazonium ion the electron pair present on this nitrogen is given to here and this electron pair shifts here as a result a triazole ring is formed for convenience i write the triazole ring like this and here we are write the phenyl group as this electron i is this nitrogen is giving this electron pair towards this nitrogen this nitrogen gives the positive charge then after it loses the h plus ion and uh, <coughs> we get a triazole compound this is triazolium compound and uh, we get the triazole here then here in this triazole homolytic cleavage takes place and we get the free radicals and nitrogen goes outside so here due to homolytic cleavage one electron comes here and one electron goes here in the similar way here also homolytic cleavage takes place and one electron comes here and another electron goes here okay as a result nitrogen goes outside and we get the bi radical like this so this is a bi radical one electron is present on the carbon of the benzene ring and other electron is present on the <coughs> nitrogen now this phi bond undergoes homolytic cleavage as a result uh, uh what happens one electron comes here and this one electron and the second electron from here forms a double bond and uh, uh, this carbon becomes carbene and double bond is formed here now what happens means this carbene gives its electron pair to this carbon as a result cyclization takes place and uh, this electron pair will be shifted here and this electron pair will be shifted here as a result uh, uh, ring closing takes place and here one hydrogen is there 
then after what happens means uh, this bond breaks and this bond also breaks uh, this electron pair comes on to this nitrogen and this hydrogen attacks here as a result we get the carbojol ring now we discuss about the bors synthesis in a bors synthesis we use the phenyl hydrazine and the cyclohexanone as the starting materials this is phenyl hydrazine and this is the cyclohexanone now we discuss about the third preparation method that is by using a diphenyl amine so this is a diphenyl amine when this diphenyl amine is passed through the red hot tube uh, dehydrogenation one hydrogen from here and another hydrogen from here will be removed as a result uh, cyclization takes place and we get the carbojol now we go for the chemical properties of the carbojol we know very well that carbojol is an aromatic compound and aromatic compounds undergo electrophilic substitution reactions in carbojol pyrrole ring is surrounded by the two benzene rings on the two sides so there is no chance for the electrophile to attack on the pyrrole ring so in carbojol electrophile attacks on the benzene ring and uh, these resonance structures tell us that electrophile substitution takes place either at uh, third place or at the sixth place here we have to remember that third and sixth positions are equal positions so we can say that in carbojol electrophilic substitution occurs at third or sixth place now we go for the example for the electrophilic substitution reactions first of all we go for the bromination so when carbojol is treated with the potassium bromide bromide and potassium bromate in the presence of acetic acid potassium bromide potassium bromate in the presence of acetic acid so here uh, we get two type of products one is the 3 bromo carbojol and the other one is the 3 comma 6 di bromo carbojol and uh, next reaction is acylation so when carbojol is treated with the acetyl chloride in the presence of alcl3 aluminum chloride we get 3 acetyl carbojol so here at third position carbojol acetyl group is substituted now we go for the nitration when carbojol is treated with the nitration mixture that is the mixture of nitric acid and h2so4 we get the 3 nitro carbojol <coughs> and when carbojol is treated with the potassium iodide and iodate we get the 3 hydro carbojol and uh, <coughs> wilsmeyer reaction is also example for the electrophilic substitution reactions so in wilsmeyer reaction we use the formamide and in the presence of the phosphoryl chloride that is pocl3 so here carbojol is treated with the n methyl phenyl n methyl phenyl formamide this is n methyl phenyl formamide and phosphoryl chloride so we get the carbojol 3 carboaldehyde <coughs> this is known as the carbojol 3 carboaldehyde and when it is treated with the wolf kirchner reduction this aldehyde is converted into the methyl group so this is the 3 methyl carbojol 3 methyl carbojol so in wilsmeyer reaction we generate the or we substitute the aldehyde group in wilsmeyer reaction uh, reagent is the <coughs> formamide n methyl n phenyl formamide okay now we go for the reduction reaction so when carbojol is treated with the sodium and ethyl alcohol mixture we get the tetrahydrocarbazol and when this is further treated with the ethene in the presence of the hcl we get the hexahydrocarbazol hexahydrocarbazol 
exahydrocarbon and when this carboxyl is treated with the hydrogen gas in the presence of catalyst all double bonds are reduced into single bonds and we get the perhydrocarbazol perhydrocarbazol now we go for the oxidation when carboxyl is oxidized with silver oxide or potassium permanganate we get n comma n dash dicarbazol and when this carboxyl is treated with the sodium dichromate we get 3 dash 3 dash dicarbazol so here by <coughs> depending on the oxidizing agent we get the different oxidized products now we go for the substitution reactions that take place on the nitrogen in carboxyl one hydrogen is present on the nitrogen so due to this carboxyl exhibits some acidic nature because the nitrogen present on the nit uh, electron electron pair present on the nitrogen of the pyrrole involves in the resonance as a result it easily loses its h plus ion so that's why carboxyl act as the acid so uh, we can easily substitute other groups in the place of the hydrogen now we go for the example for the substitution reactions that occur at a nitrogen so when this is treated, when carboxyl is treated with the alkyl halide halogen will be substituted in the place of the hydrogen and similarly similarly when carboxyl is treated with the acyl halide acyl group will be substituted on the carboxyl okay and uh, actually sorry here we would write the alkyl group so an alkyl carboxyl and here an acetyl carboxyl and here we get the so ar means aromatic halides so we can consider as the phenyl group so we may get the aryl aneryl carboxyl this is aneryl carboxyl uh, otherwise if we take the phenyl it becomes n phenyl carboxyl and when it is treated with the sodium nitrite in the presence of acetic acid we get n nitroso carboxyl no group is known as the nitroso so here this is the n nitroso carboxyl and when this carboxyl is treated with the potassium chloride we get the a solid carboxylium chloride like that and when this carboxyl is treated with the acetylene we get n vinyl carboxyl like that even it is treated with the vinyl cyanide we get the n cyano ethyl carboxyl this is vinyl cyanide this is acetylene here this one is the n vinyl carboxyl and here it is the n cyano ethyl carboxyl and when this carboxyl is treated with the methyl magnesium iodide we get n iodo magnesium carboxyl uh, this one on treatment with the carbon dioxide gives the carboxyl n carboxylic acid and when it is treated with acetyl chloride we get the n acetyl carboxyl <coughs> 